now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex, and this is, of course, The Ramble. And we go until midnight tonight from New York, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, that there be Chuck Farnham. Chuck Farnham yep. is in where, where in Fallon? Fallon, Nevada. Fallon, Nevada. Named after Jimmy Fallon, right? Yeah, probably not. It, it is the hometown of uh, John Wayne Bobbitt. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I met John Wayne Bobbitt. Uh, strangely enough, so did I. Matter of fact, he gave me a, a steak knife. Yeah, well, I met him at the M Moonlight... Uh, by the way, uh, I said this to Chuck Farnham. Uh, in the M Moonlight Bunny Ranch. At, oh, at, yeah? At, at, yeah. and Not uh, far from here, actually. Okay, but get this. I'm, I'm standing there. And uh, the photographer, it's... it's uh, What's his name's birthday? Um, oh, uh, uh, the head of the guy, who, the guy who passed away. The guy who passed away. Um, it's his birthday, and I'm standing there, and the photographer says, "Can I take a picture?" And I said, "Sure." And the two people on either side of me said, "Sure." And the guy snaps the picture, and I suddenly realize that he took a picture of me standing between John Wayne Bobbitt and Joey Buttafuoco. Nice, nice. That's a crowd. Uh, that's that's a, that's the trifecta right there. I think yeah, I fit in really somehow. I can't figure that. out how I fit in, but I did fit in. I got yeah. I got me and uh, John Wayne and uh, Ron, Jeremy. Jeremy, he's still in jail, right? Yeah, that's that's a travesty. Why? We, I mean, I don't know, but I know Ron well enough, and I think you know Ron well enough that. Ron and I, I go way back. Yeah, I think uh, I've had many, many conversations with him and Jamie Gillis, and I've been in Ron's car, and he's not that guy. You know, he, he doesn't have to be that guy. Well, He's Ron. Yeah, but that doesn't, you didn't I mean, hang around. Yeah, I guess you could get weird, but. No, but I don't think you hung around with him all the time, so you didn't no, see no, no. that, you didn't I, see that no. part of him. You, you ever know. see his trunk? Oh, no, Trump, absolutely. Has Five at all four, of his four, yeah, four o'clock in the morning. We're in a in a parking lot in Hollywood. I, my girlfriend, the girl who came with me, and uh, and and Ron. And he says, "Come on over here." And he opens up the trunk, and there are all his press clippings. All his, press clippings. You know, and yeah. I'm standing there at four o'clock in the morning. It's bizarre with Ron Jeremy showing me his press clippings out of the I, back of his car. Same thing happened to me, and that car, which I'm pretty sure oh, he, had he the always same car. no, he always, I think, drove a rental. Well, this thing looked like a Datsun 210 that had been rolled about three times. But, well, he went to rent a rent a junk rent a rent a wreck rent a, went rent a wreck. I can't talk anymore. Rent a wreck. Oh, and, that makes sense. And then. he would get yeah, all his thing, ca cars from rent a wreck. Yeah. I was surprised it ran. Yeah, no, it it. And there we were in the trunk, doing our thing. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, come here. I want to show you something. Yeah, but I, like, I, okay. you know, I heard the charges against him. I didn't exactly uh, feel that it was impossible. Right. Okay? I, I mean, I don't know him well enough to know, but I know I, my interactions with him were not. Of course, and, any and, interactions and, with people are. Well, we, also, we don't know as they get older how weird they get. <laughs> he was pretty weird to begin with. He's pretty <laughs> weird to begin with, so you multiply yeah. that, you know, and then... You're right, by uh, senility and whatever. And he, and there was a certain age at which Ron was a good-looking guy. I knew him back in, here in New York. Right, right, right. When he first started out in the, in the porn sure. world. And um, he was a fairly decent-looking guy. And, yeah. and so I don't think if he had behavior then... That he was accused of now, that it was as terrible 
as it would right. be when he got disgusting looking. <laughs> okay, it's kind of like yeah, I always said. A little yeah, weird. Now. You know, um, uh, people. Uh, for instance, I often said, and I have no, I have absolutely no empathy or pity for right. for for Weinstein. Uh, right. Uh, He's a scumbag, no doubt yeah. about it. But the difference is, if let's say Paul Newman had done the same behavior, right, there wouldn't be a single woman complaining about it. Right. So isn't it a fact that because Weinstein is such a disgusting looking human being, in fact he barely resembles a human being, right? Uh, that he looks a lot like Ron you now. If he, if he looked like, like uh, Paul Newman, no woman would be complaining. They simply go, guess who t guess who came on to me yesterday, or guess who I screwed yesterday, you know. Yeah. But you don't want to say, guess who I screwed yesterday? Who? Oh, Harvey Weinstein. Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, can you imagine Ron's funeral? Man, I mean, uh, well, I have to admit, a lot of his friends are gone now, but. That funeral still got to be one hell of a crazy time. Well, who knows? I mean, a lot of people probably are shunning him now. You know, I certainly would show up. I mean, he's—he, I don't think he's even been sentenced yet. He's just in jail because he no, can't. No, 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 no. He's still sitting there. They, well, because his health is so on the fence that, that I don't think he can go into court. I don't think he's capable of going into court to defend himself. Okay, I, so, so they keeping no, him in. Different. So they keep him in jail. Yeah, because yeah. he did. You know, because the well, I don't think he'd be in jail if what's his name, the guy who owns the bunny ranch, Dennis Hoff. That's who that is. Dennis was still alive. I think Dennis would have put in the bill for. Probably would bail for him out. Hoff yeah, to get him out of at least to get him out of there. Yeah. You know. In which case, I'd probably be seeing Ron a lot more because he's probably living in the neighborhood. Yeah, well, I mean, I, uh, you know, I always kind of enjoyed Ron. He was a decent sort to he's me. A, you, know. you know, kind of a clown, but when you throw his name into the right circle, you can get a whole people laughing pretty quick, you yeah. know? Yeah. But, boy, can you imagine how many women he had sex with in his lifetime? I mean, it, it, uh, I've... Tens of thousands? I claim maybe. that I, I have had quite a few in my lifetime but nothing right. compared to him because he was doing it professionally maybe do two or three he was a professional there you go we had this conversation can we, last can we consider him having sex on film or working having sex mm -hmm. as having sex or is that just something I, else maybe I mean he was having sex before Viagra so no, he no, really had to Work. Well, that's not the point. That's not the point I'm trying to make. My point is, um, was having sex working? But it, it, when you're doing a porn film, yeah, and you're having sex, do you put that on your list of people you've had sex with, or is that just something mechanical you're going through for the sake of a, a photographer? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I mean, I never I worked a porn film, so I can't tell you. But I would say, probably, if you did two or three of those a day, after a while, that's just work. Well, when know? I was an extra in those porn films, you were an extra in porn films. Yeah, Blondage, Fresh Meat, The Dog, yeah, The Dog Walker, and uh, John Leslie's The Voyeur Volume One, uh, where I was the voyeur in The Voyeur Volume One. I, I'm in all those movies, but I did consider it working. I mean, I wasn't naked, but I was working. You were working, right? Yeah. So and I you mean, probably weren't in any scenes where there was sex involved, right? What? I mean, all of the scenes I was in was that sex involved. Oh, but you were like a boy. You're. I mean, yeah. you're watching uh, uh, Peter North go at this girl uh, in a in a little bar. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. No, there was sex in every single one I went to. Every single one. Matter of fact, if you go to uh, Blondage. Uh, I'm almost the whole damn movie because of where I was sitting, and it was all done in a kind of a strip environment. Mm -hmm. So there's like a lot of stripping going on. Well, I'm in the front row of of this strip joint, so you see me through the whole thing. How much did they pay you for that? Nothing. Oh, wait a minute, you paid them. 
Yeah, I was having a good time, and I'm like, you know, people are going, well, you know, do you really want to be seen, you know, in, you know, my some of my friends, do you really want to be seen in a porn film? And I'm like, at some point in my life, I'm going to be much older, and people are going to be sitting around the coffee shop telling stories, and they're all going to have their little story, and then I can blast out, I was in four, four porn films. It's going to be good. And I was right. I fire everybody's like, oh, let Farnham tell a story, and uh, I can throw out my four porn film stories. Well, I uh, I have to admit you? that I have I have been in a porn film. Yeah, yeah. I won't say what, but see, and you won't no and you won't problem. see we'll, we'll me. You won't, not dressed. you won't see me. It's a certain part of my body. <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, and uh, but I won't I won't say what it was or where it was or whatever. But I I did it. And one of the reasons I did it is I wanted a record, right, of of me at my best. There you go. See, and I think for instance, I think that a lot of uh, female actresses, you suddenly see a movie they make, and they're like, you know, they've been in the business for ten years, fifteen years. Sure. All of a sudden, they do a movie where they do nudity. Uh, uh, Julie Andrews did nudity. Right? Right. Uh, and you say, why? And they do it around 40, 45, somewhere in there. And I say it's because they want to have it on record how good their body looked at one time. Yeah. Julie. Because that's the be that's the best it's going to look. Yeah. You know. I don't think they're, you know, too many people think about things and don't implement them. You know, it's like, oh, I would do that, but, oh, let's go here, but I don't have time. You know, you and I have done this many times where we will climb in a car and go do something stupid. And we're happy about it. You know, or we'll go on vacation and we'll, you know, do something weird. And I know so many people who go, I wish I would have. And I don't think you and I are running around going, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. I don't have that many regrets. You know, I mean, I was, no. I was thinking about it because, uh, you know, after the prostate operation, things don't work like they should. Sure. Right, and uh, I could. I said to myself, "Well, I could bemoan that." Right, but this thing served me really well. Yeah, and had plenty good times. That I'm not going to sit here and bemoan the fact that it isn't functioning like it used to when I'm 83. Right. Exactly, uh, because I had a better sex life, I think, than most human beings out there. Yeah, I would think so. You know, and with uh, some uh, pretty, uh, pretty spectacular partners um, and I have no complaint no complaint at all I don't get them now, I, you, now you knew me when I was working at Live 105 did I have a reputation I mean there were some good stories but no but did know. I have a reputation for being like chasing the women or whatever no, not so much really no. really because you know I always was I it, did have a few though I mean I you know there were I can yeah. probably count five or six. Yeah, the, 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 that I made the people got to see. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but but I uh, I always think I'm you know because we live in a time of uh, great what's the word I'm looking for uh, people complaining a lot about people and their actions. In the right. Past. Oh, you know, so and so did such and such to me. Yeah. Uh, and I keep thinking, is there anybody who could come back at me for what I did back then? And I don't think I was that, you know, that obvious about it. Yeah, you get, I noticed that at this age, I'm a long ways from you, but I'm still, I feel really old. Uh, I get very introspective and I look back on things and I start going, you know, was this okay? Was that okay? And I'm like, I don't really have any regrets. I'm very happy with a where I am right now, and what I'm up to, and you know it's good. And we, you know, we get to chat and hang out and a little bit. And I, I don't know. So many people come up to me, and it happens all the time. It's like, oh, I wish I would have done that. Oh, I wish I would have. And I'm like, I know people who live in this town in Lake Tahoe, is an hour and a half away. Never been to Lake Tahoe. I was married there. Yeah, they never, never been to Lake Tahoe. And I'm I like, spent all my, I spent a lot of summers in Lake Tahoe when I was a kid because my father worked yeah. with the band that was playing Cal Neva. 
And oh, when yeah. we didn't spend the summers in um, uh, in Tahoe, we spent the summers in Reno. Right. Playing, my father played the Mapes Hotel in the Riverside. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, I've grown up there for lunch and came back. I mean, it's not that big a deal when they're like, well, you know, I don't have the time. And I'm like, I just get in the car. I got, wake up and I go, you know, there's a breakfast place in Lake Tahoe I really like. I'm going there for breakfast. And yeah. I get in the car and I drive there and have breakfast. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, and they just like, well, no, I can't. I remember as a kid, one of my one most... You get hit by a bus and, you know, you won't have that opportunity, you know? What's one of my biggest remembrances is that my father would work in Reno and what we would do is there was a road the Mount Rose Highway you know the highway. Mount Rose Highway goes up Mount Rose and down the other side into Lake Tahoe right and about towards the top of the Mount Rose Road is a restaurant called the Christmas Tree yeah and we used to go there for dinner all the time they had the best steaks in the world wow I don't think that's there anymore, probably. I bet it's still there. I have a funny feeling really? it's still there. Well, Look listen, in. if you had a restaurant on Mount Rose that was called the Christmas Tree, I don't think you'd be so fast to get rid of it. No, you would think not. You know, it may have moved down the road or whatever, but it happened to be a very nice building, too. It was like... Hey, you remember our, uh, our buddy uh, Mike? He lives on Mount Rose. Mike? Yeah, remember Mike? He used to travel with us, kid, a younger kid, younger guy. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. If you saw a picture, you'd go, oh, him. Oh, him, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, but, me, I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm losing it. I don't remember. Anything. I know that feeling. You know, but I just go I'll, I'll look into this Christmas tree place, and uh, if it's there, I'll... Uh, yeah, the, I'll cri- like the Christmas tree was great. My parents would go, we'd go there for dinner, and the steaks were wonderful. And wow. uh, it was one of those things I associate with enjoying my life with my parents, you know? Right, sure. Uh, and and I was doing this like when I was ten or whatever, you know. Yeah, we we did a place called the Kit Kat Cafe with my parents. That was our really. Go, it was Kit Kat Cafe, and they had that little cat with the swinging tail and the eyes. I, I mean the clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know the Kit Kat Cafe. It was Kit- like that was where they we always went for breakfast there. Wow. That was our place. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 let's, let's be honest about it. Uh, you know, as you get older, you start thinking about stuff that happened when you were younger. Oh, yeah. Because what happens is you suddenly say, boy, there was really, I've had a lot of life. Yeah. You know, and I've you had a lot the, of life. You start looking at those things and go, you know, I, I don't need to do it again, but if I think about this for five or six minutes, I get really happy. You know, you start yeah. going, oh, that was fun. I had a good time. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, uh, times pass you by. That's the problem. Uh, yes. And uh, and it goes by really fast. I mean, when I think, but I think about all that has happened in my life, I go, did I have enough time in my life to do all those things? Right. There are, like, chunks of decades that I can't remember. Really? Yeah, like big chunks. And you're like, oh, I remember this, but I, when did that happen? There's like some parts of the 80s and the mm-hmm. 2000s that are a little confusing to me. I just, I have, people will tell me things and I'll go, really? That? And I go, oh no, you were there. I'm like, okay. And yeah. I'll confess, sure, why not? It is amazing. It is yep. amazing. Yeah. Uh, but so, uh, so I, I, I think about those things and, uh, uh, you yeah, know, I think about the good times with my parents. I mean, my father, I lost my father when I was in. What my mid twenties, maybe. Right. Uh, lost my mother when she was a hundred. I, you know, I never met your dad, but your mom was a good tongue. I, I had. Well, so much I say that. I say that's for you because you're not her son. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could do the same. As her thing son, with I could say mom. she was I, a pain in the ass. Yeah, I could do the same thing with you and my mom, and I, I, I just I remember one day. Yeah, I was doing something with your mom. And she goes, I need to go to the grocery store. And I said, okay, I'll help you. Because, you know, she was, she was, you know, closing in on 100. And I said, I'll, I'll help you. And she goes, oh, okay. So I take her shopping at the grocery store. And my phone rings. 
and it's you and you're like uh you want to come on you want to go to lunch and i'm like yeah but I, I i got a little thing i'm doing right now and you were like what are you doing i go i'm taking your mom shopping and you were like what the hell are you doing you know it's like i'm like your mom needs to go to the grocery store so i thought you know what the hell i can take her. well here's my theory and there was ice on the street that was some ice down there and i'm like i didn't want her falling so i'm like falling her around you see i never took her to the grocery store that was the one thing she liked to do, and I felt that oh, as, long as, she, as long as she kept doing it herself, it kept her vital. Right. You know, if I, I think the trouble that the kids have with their parents is as they get older, they're there to do everything for them, and really they shouldn't because that ages right. them, you know? Because they kind of yeah. just, well, I don't have to do that. My son will do it for me. Right. You know? And my mother, uh, I let her go to the grocery store all by herself, all the things back. Yeah, yeah. No, and no, people she went, was why totally are you doing that? Doing you're, you're her son. You should do that for her. And I go, no, that'll kill her if I do it. She likes going out. She likes doing it herself. And, and apparently she, I was right because she lived to be over 100. I know. I know. Yeah. It was like I, that woman had a lot of energy. And she was, and, and, you know, she lived a, a good Well, time. she had no sense of mortality. I mean, no. to, towards the end, she got very. Uh, 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 she didn't have Alzheimer's, but she mm -hmm. had dementia. And um, uh, I had to deal with that. We had her in uh, the uh, old folks' home, the um, okay. home for the aged. Right. Uh, the Jewish home for the aged. <laughs> uh, and, and it was really the best place you could put a parent anywhere. In fact, we had to we had to pull strings to get her in there. Um, they they use all her money to pay for her, and right. then once that's gone, they rely on contributions. And and they it was a first class hospital. There were three hundred patients and three hundred staff. In yeah. San Francisco. Yeah, in San Francisco, great great place. Yeah. And uh, one day she said to me, uh, "Where where am I?" You know, I said, "You're in the Jewish right. home for the aged." And she said, why? And I said, well, you're Jewish, and guess what? You're aged. Yeah. You know? Um, and she, when she was there, she then she got worse. Right. You know, than she was when she was at home. But it was getting to the point where we couldn't keep her at home because she couldn't really take care of herself. Right. So, you know. No, I, I I got a good grandmother story. My my mom calls my grandmother. Is, she's in one of these places as well. She goes, we've got a family emergency. I'm like, mm, what can this be? It's grandma. And I go, how's she doing? And he's like, oh, she's healthy. She's fine. And she was, you know, she lived to 100 too, or 99. I yeah. Think. And so she's doing it. I, I go, well, the nurse is called. And I'm like, so, but she's fine. And they're like, yeah. Well, they came in. She there was an uh, alarm in her room, so she, they went in, and there was a naked guy in the bed. And I go, okay. And she goes, apparently your grandmother spent the entire day getting this guy up into the bed and naked, and she was calling the nurse to help her take her clothes off because she was worn out spending the entire day getting this guy naked in her bed. And I go, you know, Grandma's 94. I'm like, I think I'm okay with this. Well, Grandma wants to get laid in the nursing home and she's gone to this trouble. Let her have the guy, you know? Perfectly yeah. okay. You know, Charlie, we can't do that. We can't do that. The family is, is they're having a real problem with this. You know, at my, like, at my, I vote get laid. At my age, I've just given up on sex completely. Yeah. You know? It's like, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, you know, I, those, you know how, how during, when you're, when you're younger, uh, a male usually has about a sexual thought every three minutes or something like that. I don't know what the statistic right. is on that. Probably. But when you get my age, I never think about it. Never. No, I, I make fun of the nude scenes on TV now. I'm like, well, that was gratuitous. Why are we yes, doing I've been, I say that too. I say, why do they just spend the last minute of this film, two minutes of this film, yeah. with two people writhing around in bed, and it's not even porn, it's soft core, why don't they or, just go all the way with it or don't do it at all? Orange is a new black. Every once in a while, there's weird little naked scene, like side boob of yeah. 
400 pound woman going from shower and you're like why is, why is this here I don't mind seeing naked people in the but there's no reason for this yes. we all know there are showers in prison right and you don't want to go into them with other people yeah it's like who cares yeah but hey, like that they were doing that a lot hey listen uh, we we're we're coming close to uh coming to an end here you and i just can't shut up you can't shut up i mean we, it's wonderful I, I like people who make me talk and who i make talk and we have a good time I, together i was going to call you uh, earlier in the week and go you know is there a topic uh, maybe uh, we should I forget, think about I, when did I ever have a topic I know I know and that's exactly what I thought I'm like a couple of times it popped into my head and I go you know maybe I should call him and ask him if we could come up with a topic and then I'm thinking why bother because we're going to go off of it in about 30 seconds into some yeah. other place anyway in fact I was going to get to you more about train rides in this one because we were talking about right. it last time I never got to it anyway next time got, train yeah and I'll see you next time yes sir okay stick around now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? Hello. 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 I think I'm looking okay tonight. I'm a little on the, a little on the pinkish side on my... Uh, oh, well, forget it. I'm not even going to worry about it anymore. I don't care how this show looks. All right? I guess I, I guess I don't care how the show looks. Anyway, uh, it's time for you to call. I have one person waiting. He's a quality person, but uh, only one person waiting. And I don't know how much I could uh, wind up doing this like this every night, uh, starting out this uh, slow. Uh, but people take me for granted is what happens. But he doesn't. Charlie doesn't take me for granted. He's always there. In fact, you're usually there when the interview starts. Yep. Yep. Plan my night around it. Huh? I plan my night around it. See? Most of you people should be like him. All right? You know? That would be nice. I got to quit wearing this shirt. Last time I wore this shirt, I was the only one on for about five minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that what it does? Oh, okay. I guess. Yeah, maybe we should just do this on Friday nights and that's it, huh? Yeah, except I'm umpire Friday nights. Oh. Well, we'll move it to Thursday nights. Oh, only <laughs> Thursday nights. Um, you know, but we'll we'll see if people show up. I doubt if they will tonight. What's going it, on tonight? I September don't know. There's, 13th? There's wow. Nothing going on tonight. Yeah. What's going on that is football or I guess it's baseball. Involved. It's kind of like uh, people take me for granted. That's all. You yeah. Know? That's it. You know, so. Um, there you go. Whatever. Anyway, wait a minute. I plan on this, too. So. Yeah. And Friday nights, yeah, that, that'd be great. Most of the time, taking care of my mother. But uh, Friday nights would be good. Uh, hmm. Instead of Monday is what you're saying. Yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. Oh, there hmm. we go. Okay, I'm having. <laughs> no, don't touch the Monday show. No, I'm having a lo little bit of problems tonight here. Well, I'm getting it together slowly but surely. Um, anyway, hello, Jeff. How are you? Good. How are you? See? Today? Oh, listen, perfect, perfect, Jeff. Well, you know, twenty-seven times stuff's work. <laughs> twenty-seven times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, how are you all doing? Good. Yeah, Good. Finally cooled off in Texas. Yeah, I'm getting some kind of a oh. some kind of a, 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 a sound reverberation coming back here, and I don't know why. Anyway, oh. mm. but it's okay. I mean, I can. What, how's your knee doing, Alex? My knee's fine. I am using the uh, the uh, the the uh, cane, however. Uh, mm -hmm. because um, I'm afraid of falling. Mm -hmm. Ever since that fall, I'm afraid of falling. And yeah. having the cane with me at least gives me a certain feeling of assurance, you know. I don't yeah. know that I wouldn't still fall just as hard with the cane, but it just <laughs> makes me feel better. When it wears out, let me know. I'll send you another one. Well, the nib on the bottom is the only thing that can wear out. 
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you, you'd be surprised. Yeah, probably. That's true. That's that's true. Well, that if case. next time, instead of sending me uh, a cane, could you send me one of those little uh, tricycles or whatever, those, those little <laughs> wheelchairs, electric wheelchairs? Sure, sure. No problem. Because no I problem. really like those. I'm going to go, I, when I, next time I go to Costco, I'm going to say, I got a bad knee. Can I get one of those to use? <laughs> Take they go, one from Costco. Drive out to your car and put it in the... Do they go, of course, here, be our guest, right? And then I'll do it. Won't that be terrific? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that'd be really terrific. And I, I'd do it. And uh, uh, they'd, uh, they'd say to me, um, hey, Alex. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm, oh, there we go. Now I look fine. Okay. Yeah. This is all just little touching up. Because the other day I completely tried to reset everything. And then I reset it all wrong. So, mm. you know. And I'm out of sync, I noticed a little bit. That, that too. Uh, but anyway, mm -hmm. so I, yeah, I just want to get one of those, uh, those uh, uh, power, wheel power chair wheelchairs thing. so that I, at Costco, so I can be mean to everybody else. <laughs> because those yep. people are mean. Oh, God, they, are they ever. Yeah, out of my way. I'm in a w electric <laughs> wheelchair. I'm, I'm, I'm handicapped. You yeah. sure are, lady. Mentally. Well, I come under that category, don't I? <laughs> Both, yes. Yeah. Well, well, I'll tell you, well. Chuck Farnham and I had this plan. Chuck was supposed to go to, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Disney World with me. Oh. And mm -hmm. then he faked, he faked out on me, and he never came with me. What we were going to do when we went there is we were going to say, hey, uh, my friend here needs a wheelchair, one of those electric wheelchairs, right? And then we put him in the electric wheelchair, and we go somewhere and just kind of stand there, and I start yelling him and berating him <laughs> and saying, the reason you can't walk is because you're a cripple. Okay, and you can't go on those rides because you're a cripple. And then he'd start crying, and we'd get a crowd around us, and then I'd slap him. <laughs> that was going to be our fun at Disney World. We were going to see Florida, how long. You'd probably be shot by seventy people. Yeah, you'd be shot. Today. We were going to see. Yeah. <laughs> we were going to see how long it would take for them to like, you know. Throw yeah, we us all out got our there. shirts that say something on them today, don't we? Well, you bought more that one the other day. Who me? Yeah. 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 I've got three of these. They all look the same. So. Let me get my. God. Oh God! I just. Oh God! I just dripped coffee everywhere. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm. Ah, life. See what happens when you strip, Jeff? He drips his coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that myself. Well, here I'm going to. Now I'm going to. I have to. It's not bad. It's just got all over here and now you're gonna want me to send you towels so you can clean no, up messes. I, I have towels we have we have tons of towels okay never mind Don't Busy segment can I show <laughs> ladies and gentlemen oh god you see here's all the you need uh, an automated suction yeah. but anyway and and then the bottom of this of course gets all screwed up and wet. this reminds me of the Jack Bishop show yeah <laughs> <laughs> Get on the show. Hi, how's everybody did you, doing? Did you just say that? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get banned again. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah. I'm going to have to ban you. I can't ban him now. He's my great source for, you know, what do you call it? For uh, canes. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I sent uh, uh, my friend Larry Bubbles Brown today? No. A video camera for his computer oh my god he didn't have one yeah, but remember nope. hmm? you got to get him to use it once he receives it well now wait a minute now hold on a second hold on so i'm talking to him today and i say well to, to begin with did you just did you get the high speed internet yet and he said yeah they put it in the other day i said how do you like it and he said the mail comes really fast <laughs> I said, have you used it for anything else? He said, well, I discovered YouTube. I said, good. I said, anything else? No. <laughs> you know, I'm going, well, I'm going to send you a camera, 
and then we're going to get you to be able to use that camera and I'm going to be able to get you on to Zoom so we can do video with you from here on in instead of this still I've been or this animation I've been running for the last five six years and um, he said okay so I, right after we were through I I ordered him a camera and he should be getting it but the thing he told me was and I didn't know this I said so what kind of what kind of computer do you have and he says oh I don't know one they fixed a couple of years ago it seems to be working all right but Dana Carvey wanted me to do his podcast so he sent me a brand new Mac laptop and of course, went, that's got a built-in camera. It's got a built-in camera. Well, I sent him the camera anyway, you know. <laughs> but but I said, fool around with it. Turn it on. See if you get any signal and stuff like that with it. And uh, I'll call you next week, and we'll see if we can get you online. You know, so I can do an interview with you with seeing that ugly mug of yours. I think he just doesn't want to be seen. He gets on stage. But that's seen. the point. This is a guy that shouldn't be bothered with having his face be seen. <laughs> He goes on stage all the time. So anyway, yeah. how you doing, uh, mm. uh, my good friend uh, Kevin? Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can now hear you. Can, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How you doing? My microphone wasn't working. Well, I'm doing okay. Turn up your microphone a little bit. Yeah, uh, I think it's connecting. It's connecting. Or it, it might be connected. It yeah. is connected. Yeah, we hear you. We fine. hear you. Do you hear is us? That, Do you hear is us? That better? Is that better? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you hear us? I hear you. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, fine. It's working. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, <sighs> you know, uh, otherwise, nothing much happening. I'm just tired again today. I. God, I just slept forever last night. Slept nine hours, and then I got up, yeah. and this afternoon took a nap. You know what I decided? Do you people find that if you oversleep, you're tired the rest of the day? Yep. Yeah. What is that? Aren't you supposed to be so rested that you don't go to sleep ever again? I don't get it. So, yeah. anyway. But anyway, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to see Larry Bubbles Brown. Uh, live. Huh? Live on 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 on. Well, not Zoom. live. We'll pre-record it. Yeah. But, you know. Mm -hmm. But he says I. He says I just don't think I'll know how to run all this stuff. And I'm going. You're not stupid. You're one of the brightest people I know. He says no, I'm very stupid. He thinks he's stupid. He's joking with you. No, I don't think he's joking. I think he actually really? thinks he's stupid. He says, the only thing I do okay is comedy, and I'm not very good at that. That was the other thing he said Jeez. to me. And well, I, he's not very good at that. The rest of us have no hope. Right. I, I, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, I hope I can get him going with it. I hope that it was worth me sending him a camera. I didn't send him the best camera available, you know, I didn't send him like a 4K camera, but I sent him a good Logitech that, you know, looks what good. I mean, I could turn mine on here and you'd see that there's no difference, you know. Charlie and I have the same one, $100 Logitech. Yep. Yeah. Built-in microphone, works great. Yeah. They're, they're 1080p, but that's okay. No, 1080p is fine, yeah. you know. Have him, have him call into the show it would probably be the easiest thing to start him off with to get him used to the buttons and stuff and then when you do it well first I gotta first I gotta get him to load in zoom yeah that's the easy part and then can you make a zoom call without having zoom in, on your computer yeah you well, can't it'll, it'll, it'll once you send him the link he just it goes in and you're you're it's there, so he so he doesn't need to have a Zoom on his computer. No, you you send him a link that he wants. You want him to join a Zoom. Yeah, he'll click that link and boom, it's there and and it's always there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, so and, that's how you teach him. So here, push oh, that, the button. Yeah. Okay. Now, now download Zoom. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You have it on your computer. 
Yeah, Wait, and then but it'll how does be it there. do that? It doesn't load anything. It doesn't load the program into your computer or anything. It will, and it'll say, you know, do you, you know, what's your name? And they will put in his name, and then it'll be there. No, oh. that's the way it worked with you know me and when I first did it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess I had I, some I, meeting that I had to be in, and it was I think it was a board of supervisors meeting or something, and I wasn't even. Uh, it was a. Uh, government meeting and ever since then it's been on there and then i got yours and yeah. now it's just on the list and i just pick your meeting hmm. well the big news item of the day the one they're all leading the news with is they caught that guy down in yeah. pennsylvania mm -hmm. what did, what is that sound what it was, oh, i guess it was just over modulating or something i don't know anyway what what guy in pennsylvania the guy who escaped from prison three weeks okay. ago it's been on the news every day you haven't been following yeah. this story no. he i have to give this guy credit the way he escaped <laughs> was absolutely genius i love the it? way he climbs up the wall well, yeah well what it? he did yeah he 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 <laughs> literally put his feet on one side and his back on the other and then shimmied up it's philadelphia that's how they celebrate the super bowl they <laughs> climb up things and they and they you know now they got to grease the poles there well, so now they're going to have to grease guy, the walls this, in the prison this guy was from brazil okay i know but they're gonna have to grease the walls in the prison now <laughs> I think it would have been funny the video he got to the top and slipped and fell on his face. Now the guy's yeah. a the guy's a murderer, so they went yeah. bananas that he got. He ran there, but they they yeah. they went bananas that he escaped just because he escaped, and they don't like that. Okay, yeah. It sounds like they have quite a few escapes out so of it. So now, yeah. how long has he been on the run? Three weeks. Fourteen days. Fourteen days. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. it took him that long to catch him within something like a two square mile perimeter. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And and they they go they finally go on today and they go, We caught him. Like yeah. it was some the big news, deal. You know And the news I, I'm getting says that he was thirty miles away from the perimeter. Oh, was he thirty miles away from and the perimeter? And they caught him today, yeah. Oh, okay. But I mean, but they're, still, they're going. We caught him, and weeks. I'm going. It's about goddamn time. They had like half an army out looking for him. I mean, he stole the rifle from some homeowner, and the homeowner opened fire on him and missed him. Yeah, yeah. That's somebody that probably shouldn't have a rifle if you can't hit what you right. Intend. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, they caught the guy, and they made a big deal out of it. And look, we caught him. Aren't we wonderful? And I'm saying to myself. It's been two weeks, and you haven't been able to find this guy. You know, yeah, they took a nice class picture and the whole bit. They did, and and yeah. you know, do you know what? Eventually, what? Which member of the police department eventually caught him? The dog. The, the dog. dog. Of course. Yeah. And well, the dog didn't know where to look. The dog was sent out when they had an idea. Yeah. And, and and that stopped. They claim the dog got on top of him so quick that he didn't have time to shoot his the twenty two rifle with the police. And uh, had he done that, he would have been suicide by cop. They would have returned fire, and that would have been the end of it. Well, I, the only thing I'm giving them credit for is they caught him alive. Yeah, me too. I didn't think they would. I thought they'd shoot him just because they were pissed off that he had made them look like pieces of shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, but that's the big story today. Thank God it's finally over with. Oh because no, I the big, the big it's story. Kevin McCarthy. Was, uh, <clears throat> no, what's the no, big? The bigger one was uh, Bobert got kicked out of the the theater last night. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Yeah. What's her name? Bobert got kicked. Bobert got kicked out of the Beetlejuice musical last night yeah. or something. Wow. And, and she was wearing this this dress with her tits hanging out of them and she was apparently laughing vaping taking pictures and making an yep. ob obnoxious singing and noise and so they 
picked her up and they took her outside and said, get the hell out of here. You know, it it's, it's a known fact that if you mention her name two ti- three times, she'll appear. You yeah, that, yeah, you? well, yeah. if she appears with that dress on, it wouldn't be too bad. Well, listen, I, I'm not <laughs> saying she's not hot, you know. No, I mean she's in physic she's in a lot better physical condition than Marjorie Taylor Green. Oh Marjorie right? Taylor Green yeah. is a skank. <laughs> she's a horse. Have you, have you heard that term in years? Yeah. 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 Did. For a long time. Yeah. Uh, but I mean she uh, but um no Bobert I've seen pictures of her where she's looked pretty damn hot. You know? yeah. And yeah, that's what I night. hate. I hate it an absolute asshole Republican. Mm-hmm. Who looks that good and gives me a, an erection? So the Speaker of the House, McCarthy, is going to start a investigation looking into impeaching President Biden. Where were you? That happened yeah. two days ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just saw the news today, and they're talking about it. Yeah, it was, I don't it was watch the news very often. Well, the only reason no. he's doing it is because he, he has this deal that he made with... Uh, uh, his uh, the people who you know made him speaker that uh, he would do certain things and if he didn't do them they could vote to get him out of his out of his speakership and uh, so one of them was exactly this to start impeachment proceedings oh, against yeah. Biden. Uh, that's the know, only reason the, he's doing it. I don't think he some, feels. They, they've had on on Fox. They had a couple of Republican uh, Congress people that said, "We're not going to go along with it. We don't have any evidence that the president." There's no any. evidence. There's absolutely no evidence. You know, and these are Republicans, and they said if McCarthy really pushes hard and can't find anything, we'll just remove him the, as speaker. The, the people who are against uh, uh, Biden and want to see this go through are are. Uh, uh, what's his Trumpers. name? Gates, Matt Gates, sure, and uh, and and uh, Marjorie Taylor. Um, yep, Trash Can mm-hmm. Green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's 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 just it's just they, they're so ridiculous now. I mean, it's just it's embarrassing, and I don't know what they're attempting to prove or do or it just doesn't make any sense. So. I don't know, you know. Fresh meat for their base. Fresh meat yeah. for their base, exactly. exactly. And it's payback for going after Trump. Well, you know, he did something wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get Biden for something his son did. And by That's the right. way, you know, the charges against his son are two things. One is taxes which he's already paid back by the way right and the other is the fact that he went out and got a gun but he he was doing pot or i think it was pot he carried it while yeah. he was doing drugs i guess it's a big deal there well for whatever reason this is this is the reason you go after the president of the united states because his son screwed up like that you know i mean come on Let's, for a moment, you want to talk about, they keep talking about how, oh, he was doing business with Ukraine and blah, 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 blah. Let's talk for a moment about the business that Ivanka and uh, Jared were doing with China. Nobody's making a big deal out of that, and they really should. Because they were taking advantage of the fact that uh, they were close to the president, you know. What is this name? I don't even know who this is. Alum? What what kind of name is that? Sounds like a fake name. Well, let me let me see here. Let me just put my face up here. See, by itself. And then let me put this person on and admit them and see if they um, if they come across at all. Uh, yeah, there there he is and he's he's trying but he's he, he, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh there you see you see okay hey you never got it on by the way because we oh, yes he did no he didn't we're yes. watching it not on youtube not on youtube <laughs> oh not on youtube it's not going out Would let you me bring see some here straight uh, let me re- let me remove 
this. Where are we? Remove uh, this guy? Yeah, right. Okay. There we go. Okay, done. Okay. There we go. Anyway, we uh, but let's go back to my panel here. See, that's the way I take care of it. I mean, it could have been somebody, a new person who wanted to come on and, you know, I'm willing to give it a try. But as soon as I see, and it's always gay porn. Why, what is yeah, that? That's what I'm saying. I told them while it was still on. Make it straight porn. We yeah. might leave you on for five minutes. Yeah. And if you, uh, if you are that guy who just called, uh, you never got it on. Okay? So the only thing we got was some kind of audio which didn't make any sense or whatever. Yeah, didn't so, go with the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Yeah, didn't go with the video. We all saw the video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, but it was it was. Did you enjoy it? I know you not did, all, Alan. I know all. it was it was the kind of thing you love to see, Alan. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> pictures pictures of Jack Bishop in the background. No, I don't know. I just no. It's it was gross. What are you making jokes about Jack Bishop for? I'm just teasing Jack Bishop. So, and the other the other day, uh, he calls mm -hmm. me up Monday. I wake up. To go pee, and he's, he he called me earlier. I look. I listened to his message. He said it's not a national holiday, and I'm doing a show today. I'm like, I went back to sleep. I I, I called him back later on, and I said uh, you left me a message. What's going on? I just want you to know it's not a national holiday. You called me yesterday. I said. I haven't called you since Saturday before Labor Day. He called me the other day and said, you left me a message yesterday. And yeah. I said, no, I didn't. Yeah, same thing. You know, I, I didn't. And then I said, I, I sent you a text to tell you that Damien wasn't doing a show. I said, yeah. but I didn't to call you. Yeah. And then, then Monday night, I get, a, I get another call from him about seven o'clock and I'm on the phone with somebody so I hung up to make sure he was okay and it's now 7 10 and he says uh you really uh weren't gonna be on the show today I was on and nobody was on I'm like uh it's here at 7 20 and you're not supposed to be on for another 20 minutes Jack <laughs> he's like oh what should I do I said come on the show at, at in 20 more minutes and people will come on, including me. And people <laughs> did come on. I, I hope he's okay. I hope he hasn't had a stroke or something. Or his, maybe one of his clocks is set wrong. I don't know. I really then, don't well, know. The, other, the other night I come in here about, oh, he's supposed to start at 1030 on Tuesday. Nope. And I, I come in here and I suddenly notice he's not on the air. Nope. And I, so I, I called him and I said, why aren't you on the air? He says, oh, I'm having trouble with Skype. Go figure. Yep. And he, then he was on within two minutes. You must have called him right about on the hour, 30 minutes into the yeah, show. Yeah, and I, I feel sorry for you guys because you are the two guys who sit there waiting for him. Mm -hmm. You know. He should, he well, should. not Tuesday. Tuesday, Charlie <laughs> was umpiring. Yeah. And Tuesday, I was with my family. But at eight o'clock at night, I got a message from Wayne, Brian, and Amy. Where are you? Are you on? Is is Jack on? So I called Jack, and Jack's like, wait "We have a minute, deck problem. Minute. We're trying to wait get minute, on." Wait a minute, wait. Up. Brian, Brian doesn't call his show. Does not he? not Brian Neary. Another. We have a new Brian named Brian oh, yeah. Reynolds. Oh, Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah. So they've all sent me messages, and I was having it was. You know, Tuesday was my mother's actual 90th birthday, and took, we took her out to dinner. And so, um, and so I called Jack, and I and I said, uh, "It sounds like you're not on." He said, "I'm having technical problems." Goodbye. Halfway into a show, I wasn't going to be able to get on the show anyhow. I was still 15 minutes from home. Yeah. But I get on when I get on home, and it's him and Amy. Five well, minutes and good night. Well, that's a great show. Oh yeah. So I don't know what's going on. I like I said. I hope it's not something serious. So, well, you know, I mean, most of the time he hasn't had problems lately. You know, no, not lately. It's surprising. So, Two uh, days in a row, though. But I don't. I don't wish to sit here questioning him. You no, know? no. I, I I wish to make sure that he's okay. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. 
So let's see here. What else is in the news? Um, oh, and then we got, uh, let's see, Putin's visiting, is, has a visitor, came to visit. I guess he puts Tim him up Jones. in the... Yeah, I guess he puts him in the up in the guest room or something, doesn't he? Puts him up. Yeah. Uh, He's Kim Jong. Short. Yeah, right. And he, here's what I don't get: He's getting weapons from North Korea. Yep. Do they have enough weapons? Hopefully not. Send yeah. them all to Putin. Yeah, I mean, buy some I, more from when China. You got, when you got to rely on South Korea for your weapons, you have you're in pretty bad shape. Oh yeah, you're admitting to an awful lot when <laughs> when you do that. You got a gun that says "Made in Korea." <laughs> <laughs> North Korea, North <laughs> yeah. Korea, North Korea. Uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, North Korea needs the money, and they'll sell them some overpriced well, missiles okay. that they bought from China. You're buying, you're you're buying weapons from itty bitty country from a that, country where the guy who's traveling to your country has to do it by railroad car, heavily <laughs> armored car. Yeah, I guess they don't have planes. I mean, to go. I don't think they have planes either. Well, isn't he afraid to fly? Is that it? Uh, I think so. I think he's got John Madden syndrome or something. Really? So he takes the train. His bulletproof train. Yeah. Right. Right. So that that was the other big story. They were having a good time with that one. Uh, and uh, and then and then uh, Putin is uh, is saying stuff like he's defending Trump. And why we're giving him such a hard time? Why the government is giving him such a hard time? Oh no, Putin he said he, he actually said it was a shame that a yeah. democracy, yeah, was doing this to a person who had been president of the United States. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, Putin, what the hell do you know about democracy? Right, right. Yeah, they really. want him back in so they can buddy up again and and try and well, turn that, the uh, United States communist. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I'm sure that uh, Trump doesn't even realize that. So if he gets back in, he'll well. Trump go back doesn't over realize there. that he's Putin's bitch. Yeah, right. that's Putin, right. And, and Putin would office, love to have him back. Mm-hmm. After he was out of office, the, they interviewed Putin and said, uh, "You know, you and Trump are friends." He says, "We're not friends." And he says, he, he "Well, said, you guys worked together while he was president." He says, "I use every president in every country I can." And I used him while he was president. He's no longer president. I have yeah. nothing to do with him anymore. Well, he's also, he likes Musk. Did you see that? Yeah. Really? I thought Elon Musk was the genius of the, uh, of the century. <laughs> send him some stationery. That only, smells yeah. like an armpit. Huh? I said, send him some stationery that smells like an armpit. Must? Oh, no. It, I, it was close, but no cigar. So sorry. <laughs> I think it had something to do with the timing again. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. He parked. I mean, you know, I live close to Larry Bubbles Brown. I'll show him how to go up his computer if he shows me how to time my jokes better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I probably, he probably should get somebody to go over there and help him, you know, uh, because I don't know if I can do it long distance very well. I can connect cables, but setting it up... I don't know. I set up mine on my own. Well, there's Myers. nothing to set up. He's got the computer online. Oh, yeah. You know. What neighborhood does he live in? Do you know? He lives in uh, lives in uh, uh, the marina. No, yeah. I'd go over there some weekend. He has the same zip code I had. Nine four zero zero zero. No, no. nine four uh. one two three. Really? Yeah, he's over there in Cow Hollow. I know where that is. Why they call it Cow Hollow, I have no idea. I don't know either. It's near the park. In fact, you know, we used to go see shows at a very famous venue in San Francisco. And all of a sudden, years later, I said to myself, because I was with somebody, and I said, you know, we used to go, we went and saw the so-and-so group uh, at the Cow Palace. And they went, the What? And I ne- ne- as I was growing up, it never occurred to me that that's a pretty strange name for an arena, the Cow Palace. Yeah. Uh, so I suggested that it, it, when I was doing my show in San Francisco, 
that we change the name of it, give it a French name, and call it the Palais du Vache. <laughs> and then it sounds not like, even, well, it's not, I even went, in San, it's not even in San Francisco. I went to see the Beatles at the Palais du Vache. Right. Oh, really? Where is that? Avec? Yeah. I don't know whatever it was. South San Francisco or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, the Cow Palace. Uh, and uh, it was, a, you know, a, you've been to the Cow Palace, right? You've seen something at the Cow Palace. Right. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and Ke Kevin has certainly. Oh, yeah. I have not remember the name. Firearm shows. Baseball games, basketball, the Warriors used to play there. Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. baseball games inside no. the Cow Palace? No, no, but not ba baseball, it was basketball. Basketball, yeah. Basketball, right. and I saw hockey there when the Sharks played there. But usually what they have years. are uh, like, uh, you know, ca cars that roll over other cars and things like that. They were, uh, yeah, they were famous for their, uh, the boat show was there every year. Hmm. The boat show. The boat. Where are you going to go see the boat show in the Cow Palace? In the Cow yeah. Palace. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the only water they got is in the toilet. Are you right. going to go see cows at the Cow Palace? No, there never been any cows at the Cow Palace. <laughs> Although I think there were actually. They did have, yeah, they did yeah. have cows at the Cow Palace way back. Yeah. 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 So. Well, yeah. folks, haven't we taught you something here? Hmm. Yeah. So, um, um, but you can't go there anyway. What? You can't go there to see a cow anymore. Not well, anymore. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, it's you, a, it can, an old convention center and a gravel parking lot. Well, I worked there when I was a page boy for CBS at the, Repub the, De the Republican convention back in 1956. Ooh. It's also a really dangerous neighborhood. Yeah, but we, we, I, I, that's when the, where they held the Republican convention. Perfect. Yeah. So, anyway, let me see here. What else is in the news? God, I should just go over here to Drudge and let them be my ch prep sheet. You know? The Drudge Report 2024. Um, oh, oh, by the way, uh, Apple has announced all their new stuff. But there wasn't a lot of new stuff. There are only no. new iPhones and new Apple Watches, and that was it. And they spent an hour and a half doing some of the some really interesting video. But then it just got boring. They they started talking about oh, and here and this has got that, and none of this stuff. I suppose this is the year that I I'm up for a new phone, right? And I don't want it. There's nothing there. It wasn't the, the new phones didn't look that good. Um, you know they didn't mention oh well the phone will do this and the phone will do that. What, the only what, thing they never well the only thing they never tout that it can do is make a good phone call. <laughs> uh, but what this model you well, have phone? Well, this year they did say that your calls will be clearer. <laughs> so you mean I couldn't hear them before? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Which model iPhone do you have? 13? 13, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you got to catch up to Charlie and I. We have last year's model. We have the 14. Yeah, but, yep. you know, I got to tell you, I, I looked at what the new one has, and it's not that much better than what I already have. Probably not. So why should I pay for it? You know, it's basically a camera improvement, is what it sounded like, well, and, and a little bit of RAM and a little faster CPU. And unless you do things that are fancy on the phone, who cares? Well, how fancy are you going to get with that phone? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, I mean, some of the <laughs> CPU Listen. power that yeah, runs the camera that gives you better pictures, I guess, or something. Well, I mean, I uh, uh, I find that the video on the camera is terrific. You know, ours all all those little videos yep. that I do with Marjorie in the park, yeah. it's done with an iPhone. Absolutely. It looks great. But there's yep. a problem with it. There is a problem with it. The, the, as opposed to a, a uh, what do you call it, a, uh, uh, a, a photo camera or a video camera, right. these things don't have the kind of uh, agility 
that those have. In other words, well, if I want to zoom... is supposed to have some, some kind of new fancy stabilization. I, and I, and 48 megapixel coming out the rear did, camera. I didn't hear them yeah. say anything about new stabilization. Yeah, new stabilization and the camera coming out the back, yours and mine and Charlie's, is like 12 or 24 megapixel. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be 48 megapixel on the 15. But that's on the front camera. On the, yeah, the front camera. Yeah. I mean, the camera that, that you that shoot. That faces the, everybody else, yes. Yeah. Yeah, well it, well, it always was that much, I think, in the past. Uh, last year, the, you had to buy the 14 Pro to get 48. Well, I've always had the 14 Pro. I've always had the Pro model. Except you have the 13, which they didn't move to 48 until the, the Pro. I, I just have the standard 14. I, I You know I, something? Not, like, I defy anybody to tell the difference. Yeah, well, that's... Do you know what... Like, let's say, okay, you have 48 megapixels, okay? That's probably why Apple stop is, stock is still <laughs> dropping. Well, no, but here's the reason why you want more, is if you want to blow that picture up and then reframe it, it gives you a lot of room for being able to do that. Sure. And look good. I think I think people were expecting part of the reason why the uh, the iPhone 15 is not a big hit like the 14 was or the 13 mm -hmm. is because Samsung and several of the other manufacturers are now making folding phones. Fold them up, put them in your pocket, and mm -hmm. Apple didn't come out with that. I don't care. I don't either, really. But I mean, some people do. I think it's I think it's actually uh, useless to be honest with you. You know. Uh, you agree yeah, with that? Yeah, once that cable wears out, one of the little wires is going to break and your phone will yeah. be, you know, a, a folding piece of glass and metal. This is my watch, and I've been th I've been thinking about going to the bigger one, you know, the one that's the real sports thing. They upgraded and, and, the watch, too. And not it's just bigger. The iPhone. Nope. Yeah, but it, it's bigger. And uh, I've been thinking about getting it because, quite frankly, to be honest with you, uh, I, I would, uh, my eyesight's starting to go, and I would like to, you know, be able to have a slightly bigger watch, so I can yeah. read stuff easier. That's the only reason. Do they make screensavers for the watches in case you fall down on them or something? No, no. But they've got Gorilla Glass on there. They don't scr mine. The latest one that I got doesn't scratch at all. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't. No, they, they do. They do make the the covers for them. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I broke mine. Oh, Did you really? Okay. Yeah, I actually broke my my the one before this. And it wasn't anything. I dropped it many times, but I was up at a friend's house in Gresham, Oregon, and I dropped it, and it hit the corner, and it was on a regular wood floor. And it just hit the corner. You know, when I was trying to put it on and strap it, mm -hmm. and it just hit the corner, and it hit it just right, and it shattered. Really? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I, I never, you know, I've dropped it on concrete, and it hasn't broken. So did you take it, it back it, to Apple? Yeah. You know what they said? What? Sorry. It sucks Bye. for you. It sucks for and you. you. Basically, you know, I didn't have any insurance on it because I never buy the insurance. And it they, basically what they do is you just have to buy a new one. Because if they, they replace, replace the screen, the glass? if they replace the glass, you're basically just going to send in your watch and they send you another one. Oh, okay. Huh. Because it's just not worth replacing. Yeah. I tried to, um, I went online and I tried to replace it myself. I was going to, you know, just replace it myself. Mm -hmm. And they say, yeah, you can do that, but then you lose the water resistance and all that stuff. And what good is it? You know, you pay a hundred bucks for a piece of glass, and then you try and put it back on yourself. You lose all the water resistance and all that. Oh no, 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 You're, no! You take three hundred dollars and put it around the edge. Oh yeah, you can put uh, duct tape on it too. Yeah, duct tape too. <laughs> so I just went ahead and got another one, and I got an eight, and then I bought these. It's a cover. You know, it's basically a cover, and you can yeah. buy three of them on Amazon for ten bucks, and it snaps right over the top of it. You don't even know it's there. That's but it's an extra piece of glass. Yeah, I usually take out insurance. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, I'll tell you the things I take insurance out on. 
anything that's portable. In other words, the watch so the, I would insure. The watch, your if, iPhone, you. You know, if I had a yeah. uh, if I had a laptop, I would insure that. You know. Yeah, I don't. I, I just figure I'm going to take care of it, or um, if I screw it up, that's my own damn fault. And I've never had a problem. Well, I've never really except had a, that one time. Yeah, but I mean, I just th- I just know from for a fact that things that uh, are not plugged into the wall. Yeah. Are more I, I, susceptible I to damage, you know. I guess I just, you know, over over time, I've realized that, you know, I'll do it for my daughter's stuff because I know she's a kid and she takes it around and she drops it or she loses it and stuff like that. I'll do that for her. But, you know, once she, she's proven to me that she takes care of her stuff, so I'm starting to back off on that even. Yeah. <laughs> because you pay all that money and you never use it sometimes. The newest That's, model is called the 9. You have the 8. If you'd waited a day or two more, you might have been able to get $100 off. I don't even know. Oh, what no. They, this was a year and a half ago. Oh, I don't two even know what ago. they cost. Yeah. I don't I don't follow Apple Watches. so Yeah, I'll expensive? probably get another. I'll probably get the new watch because I want the blood pressure thing on it. Yeah. Now, they have a thing where you put your finger together like this a couple times and it changes this and changes that just by going like this. Yeah, it's just you do yeah. this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I I was watching the video last night that Apple put out. I thought, oh, no, wait. I haven't watched it yet, but I knew that there was a couple of things coming up. Of course, be hell to go to a concert and you want to snap your fingers and all of a sudden your watch goes crazy. It doesn't work by snap. <laughs> it works by people putting their fingers together like this. Thumb and forth. I don't know how the hell it even knows you're doing it. What happens if you're missing a finger and you, and you use this finger? I don't know if I get this finger instead of the. I, I don't know. Oh, really? Well, then you can't that use out. that yeah. feature, okay? Yeah, I guess. I think I you could live with that watch without that feature. In the other hand, Citizen like... Skin Divers watch, five hundred dollars. I dropped this everywhere, and it's okay, never Phil. Broken. Okay, Phil. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Phil. I never. <laughs> yeah, right, no, I, Phil. No, he right, has a Rolex Phil. that he actually takes underwater. The, only, the deepest this thing's been in water is I was shown at somebody by the, by their swimming pool. By the way, can Phil, if you're listening, Phil, stop sending me pictures of that ugly car. <laughs> <laughs> is he still sending you pictures of the uh, car? He, uh, no, he, he started send me, sending me pictures of the car, and I just don't reply to him. Yeah. Yeah. He won't He's call the sh- he Model won't call T. the show. I won't look at his stupid car. He's there proud you of that Model T. He's, He's uh, he got it cheap, and he's put a lot of money into it to fix it up and get it running right. And uh, it still doesn't go more than thirty miles an hour or something. I don't know. It's never going to go that fast. Right. You know? It's a twenty horsepower motor. Well, he, he said to me in his latest uh, uh, thing. Uh, well, what, minute, what was it he said? Let me let me see if I can find it here. Uh, yeah, he said, Brian isn't the only one with a supercar. I'm sorry, he has a what? what what's that car he has? A Model T. No, a what's, what's what? Oh yeah, oh McLaren. Brian McLaren. 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 Yeah, he has a McLaren. a McLaren. That's hardly this piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> a Thirty-four Cadillac too. So. Yeah, no, no. It doesn't Phil know there's a reason why they don't make these cars anymore? <laughs> you know? Why they stopped? Well, he wants to park it in front of his shop, right? That's what he told me. Well, yep. that's what he ought to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chain well, it down and uh, leave it there. He finds all new ways to completely piss away his money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And one day he's going to say to himself when he's 83 years old, gee, I wish I hadn't bought that stupid car. <laughs> but I did it because to impress people. You know, so. It's not working if that's the reason. Mm-hmm. I have a little problem he with was, my speaking lately because I'm, I'm getting a lot of um, uh, spit. Up well, here. He, huh? he, Phil told me earlier today that Brian talked about his car on the Monday show, but not Phil's car. Not, that, that he didn't. Why talk. would he talk about your car? Get on. Yeah. That. I yeah. mean, Phil, it's about his car, not about your car. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did a show. But Phil was upset that Brian on the Monday show. I haven't seen it, but on the Monday show, 
talked about his the Monday show was all about cars. Yeah, uh, it was, it, people and, and the uh, cars they own, and I had a big question about you I know, would you get if you were to get a car now, would you get an electric or what would you get? And I think we all agreed, uh, uh, what do you call it? hybrid is probably I what most people would get. That it's the most practical at this point. I got one. Yeah, you, you're happy. Works great. With it. And um, you have a hybrid, tr uh, um, Jeff. Yeah. What 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 is it? It's a CRV. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. yeah. Honda. Honda, the best Honda. Yeah, yeah nice, nice. And it's Here. nice. It's so you can use it with uh, it generates its own electricity and you as a little small gas engine, right? <laughs> Actually, I think it's a bigger battery than it is a, an engine. Well, Phil doesn't have an electric car. It you gets know like uh, 45 miles a gallon. Yeah, well, wow, Phil, Phil doesn't have an electric car or hybrid. And the reason is... He likes to tell people how much money he spends on gas. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all Biden's fault because we have high gas prices. Yeah, you know, I'm I, talking about it today. OPEC raised the price of gas. It hasn't yeah. been high in a long time. How does this, how does the president okay, control look, OPEC? Look, uh, you know, there's a big there's a big kind of move on within the Democratic Party to appeal to Biden not to run. Uh, not because he hasn't been a good president. He's done everything, you know, he's done all, he's done a lot of good. I don't care what some Republicans think. Uh, we're a lot better off today than we were when Trump left us in a mess. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay? Uh, but it's the age thing. And it's also the fact that he's running with Kamala, which, uh, I'm sorry, people are not fond of her and they don't want to have a president drop dead while he's in office and have her be president. Well, nobody was fond of Mike Pence. Well, that is, and your point is? <laughs> the, uh, he wasn't any more... Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is I, th I think that uh, if Pence, if Biden really cared about the Democratic Party, he wouldn't run again. Uh, and but who who is going to step up? Nobody has yeah, even talked about stepping up, and and that's what, well, everybody that's what has said me off about that. If if none of this ha here here's the interesting thing. Okay, if none of these things were happening, uh, probably Newsom would be the one that everybody would urge to run. Um, he's got he's got optics. He's smart. Oh, he's got optics. He's smart. He's uh, um, but. And, and when it comes to debates, he'd make mincemeat out of a Trump. You oh, know, Jesus, yes. Oh, yeah. Completely. But uh, it, 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 here's the thing that's interesting. He says he's not going to run now because he's, he's a good Democrat. He's a good party. Yeah. He's a party player. Okay. He'll run in 2028. So he wants to run in 2028, right. But you know who will run in, try and run in 2028? Trump again. No. Kamala Harris. Now, yeah. if I, my memory serves me right, she was a district attorney of San Francisco while he was mayor. And well, wasn't he, there some stories about the two of them? I don't know. Hey, there was a couple, yeah. Yeah. So the yeah, but you know, politics. You know, you you push all that aside. You, know, you push what aside? Uh, I'll, I don't know. Whatever. The fact whatever that two whatever people were running for her. the same office who uh, who had sex with each other. Oh, it's gross. But <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah. Nobody's. What? Somebody's saying that, that Newsom and, and Harris got mm. on? Yeah. I never, yeah, I've never heard that. Newsom those was those good... were rumors going around. At the, oh. uh, I remember those rumors, yeah. Newsom was a good uh, mayor, yeah. and she was not a very good district attorney. And so San Francisco was happy to see her leave. And California got her as the attorney general. And then when she went to Washington, California was happy to see her leave. Were they? <laughs> How about She's you, Brian? Really Were you unhappy as being a person from California? No, I'm not unhappy living in California. I'm just... I'm talking to Brian now, though. Oh, sorry. Not sorry. Brian. Key. Kevin. Oh, just, Kevin. Yeah. Kevin. Uh, do you feel that, uh, you know... How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm not. I'm not real 
keen on her, but she doesn't bother me terribly. I just, uh, I, I don't, I don't like, I, I don't, I don't necessarily think that particular pair is good. I mean, I, I, I'd like to see somebody step up, I but think I don't should, see I, anybody stepping up. Well, I think he should <laughs> put Newsom in that job. Well, th- that's fine, but you know, there's got to be a, there has to be some kind of a, come to Jesus meeting, and w- those two have to get into a room and say, okay, you know, Joe, it's all good. You did good here. What do you say? And 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 who's going to run with him? Is he going to pick Kamala to run with him? No. Uh, that's that's the uh, thing. Th- that's what well, he's going to do, though. He's already that, said that. I don't think that could work. I don't I mean, think that, so either. I don't it think that would us. work. Yeah. You know, how about how about Boost Demonte? He's the Attorney General of California, I think, or something like that. Boost Demonte? I never heard of the guy. Uh, he was a congressman, and now he's in in. I well, know, I think I you're know. pulling names out of your ass. So. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Coming out yeah. of my ass. Ah, uh, we find out what is. No, I I just I just I don't know who. Who would. Uh, you know who can step up? Yeah. yeah, that's that's the big thing, and and who can step up and do something decent, and that's you know. Well, I, I just I, I just always... think, and I worry about the fact that I don't think that uh, um, uh, that uh, that Biden uh, should run again. I think it's a great disservice to the Democratic Party, uh, and I. But there's an ego that goes on with these politicians right. where they just won't give right. up. You know, I, I still always still have Buttigieg in the back of my mind, but I don't think that'll ever work. Buttigieg um, eventually why? may become a real player, yeah. but he's done a but, great job as the Secretary of what Transportation. Yeah, but he, it's it's going to take a little bit of uh, mm-hmm. a little bit more grease to get on that wheel with with the American people. I think. Yeah, and that's you know. Well, yeah, but he has no baggage. I mean. Really, he has no baggage. He's smart. He's sharp. He's level-headed. Yeah, and you know, who knows? He's good-looking. Newsom, Newsom, and Buttigieg. Ah. I don't know. Shit, yeah. <laughs> that's that would be an off-the-wall ticket, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, it's just that uh, I, I, I just fear for what happens if if uh, Biden runs. Because the, the age shouldn't be the consideration here, but it's go, going to even be a consideration with me if he's running with Kamala. I want him to have right. a good vice presidential choice that I can feel confident that if something happens to Biden, that and, person and what, will what's be What's scary about that whole thing is people are going to look at that and the other ticket, you know, the 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 Trump ticket, and they're going to try that experiment again. Yep. Who knows? What that experiment? That's a, that, the experiment from the the Hillary experiment. Yep, from the 2016. You know, people were pissed off at Hillary, and they said, oh, well, let's just try Trump. And, and that yeah, shit could happen Trump again. Now. They know Trump now, yeah. Agreed. Mm-hmm. But, you know, look at what they're up against. Listen, anybody who votes for Donald Trump is a moron. But I okay. don't disagree with you. I mean, how you can see what this man is accused of at, having done. Look at the way our country is right now. Yeah, it's a little People divisive, are, isn't it? It's a little divisive and a little bit wacky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Let me start the theme. There it is. You, you can't hear it, but they can hear it. I still haven't figured out why. <laughs> But anyway, I mean, I can turn it up here and then. And then come through your mic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, again, a small crowd, but, you know, it gets smaller and smaller. Eventually, it's just going to be two people and me, you know. Uh, but uh, thank you very much uh, for being here tonight, uh, uh, Charlie. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Alan. Also, thank you very much for the walking stick as well. Uh, Jeff, thank you for being here tonight. And uh, Kevin, it's great having you here, as always, you know. Uh, But uh, if if all of you would just do a big wave goodbye, I'll do a big wave goodbye at you. 
And there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the citizen panel for tonight. They're all on their way. <laughs> Jeff was doing a you know, wave thing. Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back again. What is, when is it? Uh, we'll be here again tomorrow night. Right after us is uh, Jack Bishop. We'll be here with the Jack Bishop intersection. That's next over most of the same station. He uses Skype, and you can call him at GabNet Live. I will see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.